The world would be a better place if every scuba diver was a rescue diver. Let me explain. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome to Divers Ready. My name is James. It is so great to see all of your smiling faces. If you're new on this channel, please make your next dive on our subscribe button because we make videos with one simple goal in mind, and that's to help make you a better scuba diver, like this week where we're talking about why every diver should be a rescue diver. Now, me personally as an instructor and a lot of my instructor friends I know, Rescue Diver is our favorite course to teach, but sadly, I don't get to teach many Rescue Diver courses these days because the way I've got my business set up with one-to-one -one tuition isn't ideal for teaching rescue. Because to do a successful rescue course, you really wanna have a group environment. You wanna have four or five students to one, instructor and a dive master and so on, because a lot of the scenarios you're gonna cover are gonna be team exercises. Now, every now and then I get to assist teach or DM on a rescue course, and I always reminded how much I enjoy teaching rescue skills and how much the students get out of it. So I thought it'd be fun this week to give you my top three reasons why I believe every diver should be a rescue diver and what value you should be looking for if you're considering taking that course. Reason number one. Number one is readiness. We all agree from open water level and above that scuba diving is an inherently dangerous sport. We are land walking mammals trying to breathe underwater. And we also all agree that an accident can happen at any time to anyone. So if we take those principles forward and we say, okay, well, there's gonna be an accident happening sometime in your dive career. Do you wanna be useful or do you wanna be dead weight? Because I've seen situations where one extra rescue diver in a group of divers when an accident occurs can make the difference between a near miss and a bad ending. And even if most of the divers watching this video will only ever dive with dive professionals, dive masters, boat captains, instructors, throughout their whole diving career, just that one additional pair of hands with some knowledge and some skills can be the difference between life and death. Even if you're able to do the diver recall sign while the captain calls the coast guard and the crew are performing CPR, you've gone from being useless to useful. The rescue diver course itself is part of the core development of any scuba diver hoping to go pro. You have to be a rescue diver before you go and do your dive master course. A lot of people out there think that rescue diver is some kind of specialty course off to the side, and it's not. It's part of the core progression, and for good reason, and that reason is readiness. The training on a rescue diver course should be heavily practical. It should be real world scenarios. It should be, you know, acted out accidents that you know, whilst maintaining safety on the course, are realistic in their presentation. You're gonna cover emergency situations, both on the surface, underwater, and on the boat. You're gonna have O2 administration on a good rescue course. You're gonna learn CPR if you haven't done it already. So all these things tie into making you somebody who in two, three years time, that training can kick in and you can become useful if an accident occurs around you. Reason number two that I believe every scuba diver should be a rescue diver is awareness. So let's say you're a competent advanced open water diver and you're living in your own little bubble with you and your buddy and you have what we refer to as self-awareness. Self-awareness would be like the ability to answer these type of questions without you know, too much hesitation at any point during the dive. Is my breathing under control? Am I in trim? What depth am I at? Do I feel okay? How much gas do I have left? And other questions pertaining to yourself underwater. If you're a good to great advanced open water level diver, then you should have developed what's called global awareness. You should be able to answer questions like, how much gas does my buddy have? Am I kicking up sediment? Am I shining a light in my buddy's eyes? Where's the boat? Where are we in relation to our exit point? Am I handling the conditions or are the conditions handling me? Rescue Diver teaches you to take the blinkers off. So instead of living in this little bubble with you and your buddy, you now have what we call situational awareness to other divers who might not even be in your party. Next time you're on a dive boat or at a dive site, look around at the other people in your group. You see that woman over there that can't weigh 130 pounds soaking wet, diving without a wetsuit, asking the dive master for 18 pounds of lead? She might not be the most experienced diver on the boat. Or that guy over there who was first up from the first dive because he ran low on gas really quickly and is now sitting red-faced and panting recovering from climbing the dive ladder maybe he should sit the second dive out or wow i just got in the water with my buddy and the current is way worse than we were 
expecting, so I probably should tweak my dive plan accordingly. As well as the practical rescue skills that you'll get on a rescue diver course, you should also be taught to develop your situational awareness to prevent rescues, because the best rescue is the one you don't have to perform. And the third reason that I believe every recreational diver should aim for the rank of rescue diver is confidence. As we mentioned back in our video on the scuba diver progression, the jump from advanced open water to rescue diver presents the biggest leap in skills and knowledge at any level of your scuba diver training. It is challenging. It is tough. You're going to practice and be examined on skills that you didn't even know existed. Pop quiz, hot shot. Pop quiz. Let's say I'm your dive buddy. I'm six foot three, 280 pounds. I'm in full dive gear and we're going for a dive together. And for reasons unknown, during the dive, I become unconscious. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? How would you get me to the surface safely? How would you get me ashore or back on board a dive boat? Well, all of those scenarios have techniques that you'll learn in the rescue diver course, and that new knowledge and those new skills are a real confidence booster. It's an old adage that people always fear what they don't understand. And when it comes to scuba diving, quite often that fear stems from the question of, oh, if something went wrong, would I know how to deal with it? Well, do a rescue course and you absolutely will. I've seen students come into a rescue diver course who are naturally nervous, anxious divers, and they leave just brimming with confidence. They're like a completely different person because now we've answered that question and we've pushed that fear away. And if a situation should occur, they feel much better equipped to deal with it. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to make your next dive on our subscribe button and click that little bell icon so you don't miss any of our future content. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something from it, give it the old thumbs up for me. It really warms the cockles of my heart. Let me know in the comments below, are you a rescue diver? If so, did you enjoy your rescue course? And if you're not a rescue diver, maybe you're advanced open water, are you thinking about taking your rescue diver course? What's stopping you? You know how it works by now. Just over here, I'll put some of our back content that you can check out. And until next week, my name's James. This was your Divers Ready video for this week. It's gonna be the hack. Here it comes. Dive safe, dive often.